Well, this sign's seen better days. It's out at the Silverado Country Club. It's a Silverado residential community, right lane only sign. 36 inches tall, seven feet long. And see, it's pretty beat up. The EC film's starting to fail. It's starting to chip off and flake off from the sun. I got some flaking up on the tops here, as you can see. Some of the sheeting's coming off. So, who did they call? That's right, they turned to the sign man. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, so what I decided to do was to, I took a sander and I hit some of the high spots and I thought, well, I'll sheet over it, but it's just really peeling up. So I started peeling it off with a little scraper and uh, you can see I'm getting off some pretty good sized chunks. And you know, it's really not that bad. I did probably a third of the sign already in about probably 15 minutes. So it'd probably take me probably an hour to do this but it'll be cheaper than buying a new blank because then you have the aluminum frame that went with it. You know, and the sign is seven feet long, three feet wide. So, or seven feet long, three feet tall. And we take, you know, to, to get something like this shipped would be, I we're probably talking a few hundred dollars. And, you know, I just got an hour labor in it, maybe stripping it off. And I think that sheeting will stick pretty good to it. I'm gonna put some of the, um, I have some adhesive remover that should remove the rest of that stuff and it should just scrape right off. Anyways, I'll continue on this sign and I'll we'll check back in on the progress. Okay, here you are with that remover, the adhesive remover, and it's coming up pretty good. Just a little scrape and you can see all the, all the piles of adhesive coming up here. take me about 20 minutes to clean all this off. Okay, what I decided to do is take it down to our county motor pool shop. They have a pressure washer there and I scraped off as much as I could, but there was still some on there. As you can see, the pressure washer is just peeling that stuff off really easy. So I decided this would be the best course to do now is to strip it off and then I can bring it back and still try to remove some of the adhesive that was on there. I want to make sure that I get it as clean as possible so that the diamond grade sheeting from 3M will stick to it really well. So I'm going to finish up washing this and we'll head back to the yard and we'll finish up on it. Okay, well I got the Silverado Residential Community sign back. Um, power washed it. Turned out pretty well. Now I'm using some rapid remover adhesive remover and as you can see I just sprayed a little bit for a little test here and you can see all the gum that's come up all the old adhesive so I'm just gonna work this stuff for a little while keep applying it and getting all that gum off and I should get some good adhesion it, it cleaned up really well there's just a faint remnants of some diamond grade left below but it'll it'll clean up really nice let's continue on with this sign well, there we have it. There's the goop that I picked up, the uh, adhesive that was left over there. I used that rapid remover. A lot of, just a big pile of snot. So there's quite a bit on there, left on there, but I've got probably 99.9% .9 of it off. There's just a few little tiny pieces that I'll, I'll try to work on. But for the most part, all I have to do now is I'm gonna spray it down with this stuff called rapid prep and it will um, remove all the residue from the adhesive and stuff and it'll help the uh, diamond grade material stick to the sheeting. Let's continue on. Okay, this is the stuff that I use to spray down the uh, sign after I apply that adhesive remover. It'll remove any residue that's left. I'm called pre-cleaner surface prep. I just poured some in the spray bottle. I'll 
go ahead and spray down the sign and remove all the uh, residue that was left over from the uh, adhesive remover because there's still residuals left on there. And I'll wipe them off and continue on with the sign. Okay, here we go. I have my sheeting all cleaned pretty well. It, it actually turned out really nice. I would sure hate to do this to every sign that I have. We sent ours back to a manufacturer called Zap and they uh, strip all the finish and refurbish it. So I took it down like I, sh I showed you, I was down at the shop and I took the um, high powered, high pressured uh, pressure washer, turned on the heat all the way up, used the remover to remove it. So now what I'm gonna do, roll out the sheeting. Uh, so this sign is seven foot by three foot. So I'll roll out enough sheeting to cover the sign blank here. And we'll trim it up. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll make sure my sheeting fits over here and it overlaps all the way around. And that way I'll have enough to trim around the edges so it cover, completely covers the sign by. I'm going to use the new table that we have. I just love this table. Uh, go about, oh, about halfway. Simple. We'll just flip this side back. off the adhesive, the backing that will expose the adhesive to today. And I'm going to trim some of this off. And we'll just tuck this under so I have something to grab on the other side. roll the signs you have through the hand crank and there's no way I could do a seven foot sign because the roller sat at the end of the table and there was just there just wasn't enough room. So this table makes things a lot easier. And we'll just roll it a couple times make sure we got some good contact with the sign blank. And then all I have to do is trim it up. The sign blank all trimmed up. Um, it's 36 tall, seven feet wide, and it's got two and a quarter inch radius round turns, corners, I should say. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go cut out the EC overlay that we're going to do. We're not going to um, print this one because it was just it's too big and just too much, too much for it. So we're going to do the EC. So with this diamond grade and the EC film on it. Uh, give this thing about probably 10, 12 more years of life left. New life added to it, I should say. So let's get going. Okay, here we are. We're using Flexi 21. It's already laid out, so I just have to go simply to where the file word is saved. Um, one of the things about this is to always remember where your stuff is saved. Community. So this is what the sign is going to look like. Silverado Residential Community, right lane only. Um, like I said, seven feet long, three feet tall. So I'm going to go ahead and send that out to my cutter. Just hit cut. It's going to bring up a diagram here. Um, I want to make sure that I have my page set to the size of the size of my sheeting. Okay, it says right here, residential residential community. You can see the let me continue on here. So this is the only thing we're going to cut out. Then it's going to cut out all the letters, uh, and then I'll, I'll bleed out the letters. We'll show you how to do that. It's real simple. I'm just going to click send. Okay, after I hit send, it's going to send it to the cutter.
Okay, now that I have it all weeded out, got it on the table, we're gonna roll out some uh, transfer tape on top of it. This new table's pretty slick with this operation help it does it. Make sure that it's lined up straight. It's going in there to start up. Set it down and away we go. Okay, I've got it all laid out. Three quarter inch border all the way around. I got it all centered how I want it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip and, and seal half of it. I can feel a little grit on here and stuff. What I wanna do, I have this roller. It's kind of sticky. It's lost some of its stickum right now. So I have these sheets. Let me just peel them off. Get your set and done. Just peel them off. And you roll your roller over it. You remove all the debris and it makes it sticky again. And we just want to make sure I don't trap any debris between the uh, blank and the EC film. It'll make little bumps and it'll just drive me nuts. So we're do half of it at a time. Okay, we're going to peel this back. Do is I'll trim part of this. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and roll this out. So much easier doing it this way than the old way where you had to roll it through the roller which my roller came out to about here, and I only have about four feet, so I wouldn't have been able to do the sign if I had to flip it around. It would have just been you know, really tough to do it. So now we'll flip the other side over. Okay, then what I'll do, I'll do the same thing. Roll this on the roller. Make sure I get all the little debris up so I don't trap any between. Okay. Done with that. Just a matter of peeling this back. It's flat. Okay, now we're just going to roll this half out. Make sure we get good contact. All right, then we peel. That's a big piece of transfer tape to peel off. when you were a kid opening up a Christmas present to see what you got, you know. So here we are, we've got this much finished. The only thing left to do now is I have a steel frame on the back and there was a bunch of holes that I had to drill out to start with with the pop rivet. So I'll, I'll have to pop rivet on the, uh, on the frame and then hang it up, that's all that's left to do. So hopefully I'll have this movement back up tomorrow. So the Silverado Residential Committee, right lane only sign, done. So, you know, the residents there saw a problem with the sign, so who did they turn to? That's right, they turned to the sign man, as always. Thanks for watching.